Development of technology has made it possible to go around the world in a very short time. With the means of transportation and commutation like the spacecraft, aircraft, ships, trains, and cars have made the world like a small village. Distances that took months to travel can now be covered in hours. Availability of means of transportation has made people's lives easier. But have the poor benefited as much as the rich from these sophisticated technologies? These different means of transportation have definitely not improved the lives of all people. Therefore, it is necessary to develop technologies that help the poor too. Cars and other motorized land transportation are the easiest and most convenient means of transportation, but they cannot go everywhere. Besides, building roads in geologically challenging places is very risky. According to the Department of Roads, Throughout Nepal, 16,800 kilometers of motorable roads have been constructed. But the poor, who live in the hills and high mountains of Nepal, have not benefited from roads because there are no roads. Even if there were roads in the hills, they would not be able to connect all hilltops. But there is an alternative means of transportation in such places. ITDG, now known as Practical Action, has been working in the development and promotion of small and medium technologies. It has been developing technologies suitable for areas not reached by modern forms of transportation. Gravity Ropeway is one such technology. It has helped lessen the problem faced in transporting goods in hills and areas with no road transportation. A gravity ropeway does not cost a lot neither is skilled manpower needed to operate them. The community itself can operate and maintain a gravity ropeway. The best part of this ropeway is that it does not need any external energy to operate it. The weight of the goods transported from above provides enough energy to take goods from the bottom of a hill to the top. Gravity ropeways can be built on hillsides. As far as possible, they should be near a roadhead or from where goods can be easily transported elsewhere. Cables of appropriate lengths and station sites both at the top and bottom of the hills are required to construct a ropeway. At both the stations, the cables are tied strongly to poles of steel, concrete or wood. The cable tied at the lower station must be at an angle between 12 and 22 degrees with the surface so that the weight of the goods coming down can pull the goods from the down station. After the cables have been tied properly at both the stations, trolleys are attached to them. It is very easy to operate a gravity ropeway. A lighter load is carried up by the weight of the heavier load in the trolley transported from above. When a load up to 120 kilograms is sent down, a load of up to 40 kilograms can be carried up. This technology is economically beneficial in villages from which more goods and produces are taken to the market than the goods taken to the villages. This is a flywheel. It turns the cable in both the stations. Bottom station flywheel consists of a brake that stops the trolley coming from above. 
To build a 1400 meter long gravity ropeway, it costs rupees 850,000, including labor costs. A road, in contrast, costs much more and the distance to cover will be longer than a ropeway. If bridges were to be built on the way, the costs will rise drastically. The length of this gravity ropeway in Bishaltar of Dhading district is 1400 meters. It connects 139 households of Janagaon with the nearest road. Before this was built, the people here transported goods on their backs. It took them five hours to transport a load from the road to the village, and it took three to four hours to transport vegetables to the market. <laughs> this ropeway takes just two minutes to transport goods to the market. Earlier, porters had to be paid between rupees 60 to rupees 100 to carry a load of vegetables to the market. Now, it only costs rupees 7 to transport a load to the market, and this takes much less time. The amount collected this way is used to fund minor repair and maintenance work on the ropeway, which villagers carry out themselves. The European Union provided financial assistance to construct ropeways connecting villages of Dhading and Gorkha to the roadhead. Transportation costs can be cut by as much as 10 times by using a gravity ropeway. People find gravity ropeways very useful since goods can be transported quickly and cheaply. The demand for gravity ropeway is growing day by day. The people of Hardikola in Kalleri are also building a 1200 meter long ropeway. Once it is built, people will not have to carry goods on their backs. Therefore, the community people are providing free labor to build the ropeway. People have now started growing vegetables on land that used to be fallow. In areas with water and market access, vegetable farming has a good economic potential. Earlier, they had not considered it because it cost a lot to take vegetables to the market. <laughs> But with the construction of the gravity ropeway in the village, the people have become attracted to vegetable farming. These days, vegetables are grown everywhere. People's incomes have increased. Their lives have become better. The ropeway has also made the people more enterprising.
Nepal is a storehouse of hydropower resources. Nepal would have benefited if the water that flows in the river could be utilized and harnessed well. Nepal is said to be the second richest country in the world in hydropower potential. But this water has become a problem in Nepal's villages. Villagers cannot use this water. In fact, these rivers obstruct the building of roads. Every year, many people lose their lives while crossing rivers. The use of traditional tuin, like this, to cross rivers, disabled many. In this village, many people have lost their fingers while using the tuin. Villagers face many difficulties in taking their products to the market. This problem is widespread in the mid-hills of Nepal. Therefore, Practical Action Nepal is involved in improving these traditional tuins to more efficient ones. Tuins are designed so that people can sit on them and also transport goods. Since the improved version provides much space than the traditional one, there is less chance of people falling off. It has facilitated the movement of agricultural produce to the market as it can carry up to 350 kilograms of goods. This type of tuin costs slightly more than the traditional one. It costs rupees 250,000 to build a 50 meter long tuin at the rate of rupees 5,000 per meter. But if it is longer than 100 meters, it does not function well. The shorter the tuin, the easier it is to cross the river using it. The people here are happy since a tuin is being built across the Trishuli River near the highway. Now they do not have to cross the river hanging on a crude pulley or by a rubber tube on the river. Transport technology based on bicycles is another helpful technology for the Tarai plains of southern Nepal. Most places of the Tarai are accessible by motorized vehicles, but it is very expensive to take them to some areas. It is impossible for all households to have a car. Low-income households cannot use vehicles to transport goods since they cannot pay the fare. Most small farmers and businessmen carry goods on their backs to transport them. This is both time and energy consuming. Bicycles are popular in the Tarai because they are light and inexpensive and can easily be ridden down small lanes. These are also used to transport goods. The lives of the people of the Tarai have changed since trailers have been attached to bicycles to transport goods on. These days people use trailers to transport fruits, vegetables and other goods. It has become possible to transport more goods to the market more easily. This has become useful for those who sell goods in the markets every day for a living. Small industries also use trailers to transport goods. It also reduces the possibility of injury while carrying goods. At the same time, it increases the productivity of small industries. Bicycle trailers have become a reliable means of transport in times of difficulties. A trailer like this can also be used as an ambulance to carry the sick. The sick can be put on the trailer and taken to the nearby hospital with the help of a bicycle or a motorcycle. Bicycle ambulance is a reliable means because both a bicycle and the trailer have brakes. This kind of ambulance has proved to be a big help during emergencies. Bicycle based ambulance is inexpensive and available when needed. It costs 
about rupees 10,000 to make such an ambulance, including the bicycle. It costs up to rupees 7,000 to make just the trailer. Poverty cannot be eradicated just with the development of technology. Available technologies should be inexpensive and easily accessible to users. They should be widespread and replicated according to the context rather than just display the model. They should be promoted in villages and communities that lack technical opportunities and availability. The process of technology promotion and replication should be transformed into a campaign. All concerned, like the government, NGOs, as well as individuals, should be seriously involved in this campaign.